Hello trainers, I'm Beto7Games and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I did in my weighted jungle cup this month and I hope you can learn some tips by watching my battles and hopefully improve your game. The tournament was held in Mexico City, a very strong region with some of the best players in the world. There were 47 participants and almost half of them being challenger level players. Before we start with the battles, I will briefly introduce my PvP credentials to you trainers. My gamer tag is in the Silver Arena Isel the Beto 7. I have played all of the cups to date with the exception of the Nightmare Cup because I didn't have enough Stardust. I qualified to the Regional Season 1 and I'm ranked inside the top 3000 worldwide. Here you can see my trophy case. I've got silver in the Boulder, Twilight, Tempest and Jungle Cup. I've got bronze in the Kingdom. I qualified for the regionals but it didn't get any medal and I won a Rainbow Cup. This is the team I used in the tournament. I took Venusaur with Bind Whip, Frenzy Plant and Sludge Bomb. The King of the Jungle, Vigoroth obviously with Counter, Body Slam and Bulldoze. Lantern with Water Gun, Thunderbolt and Hydro Pump. Weekly Tough with Charm, Ice Beam and Play Rough. Noctowl with Wing Attack, Sky Attack and Psychic. And Fortress with Bug Bite, Heavy Slam and Earthquake. Okay, so in two we face Eberron Heroes, both of us lead with Vigoroth. So in this matchup, who wins is the one who has the charge move priority. So let's see who gets to the Body Slam first. And she does, she has the priority. I decide to shield. Remember, five counters lead to a body slam. Now I retaliate with a body slam of my own. Check out how I do circles to get the excellent. She shields. I sweep. I switched. Sorry, into my fortress to tank a body slam, which is exactly what happened. So we're in a good position. She sends her fortress. She has the HP advantage, but we have the energy advantage. So I decided to go for earthquake to surprise her and do deal more damage than what Heavy Slam does. She doesn't shield, which is good for us, and now I decided to let my fortress die. There was no alive, so now I have Vigoroth and Lantern left and one shield. So I decided to send out my Lantern to farm a little bit of energy and finish that fortress off. And let's see, she also uses her own Lantern. I have the energy advantage she has the HP advantage, so I use my Thunderbolt, she doesn't shield, she has one shield left. Let's see if I can get to another, nope, she does it first and she has some energy stored because she took lo lots of time. I decided to use my shield because my Lantern is the only Pokemon I have left with lots of HP. But here I have to take that Thunderbolt in the face. And here now it's my t my turn to use another Thunderbolt. I think I farmed too much with that Lantern and that cost me. And here I send my Vigoroth. She uses a Body Slam. This is going to be very close. Let's see. And I finish her off with a Fast Attack. So I took round 1. Both of us did mistakes in round 1. Now into round 2. I lead with Vigorad again, she leads with Fortress, we have the advantage. It's all about getting those body slams first. I get to the first body slam, she doesn't have to shield. He here she uses her heavy slam, I didn't shield, maybe I should have. She switches into her Venusaur, I attack with my body slam. Then swap into my fortress. That that body slam took out half of Venusaur's HP. And here we have the switch advantage, so we can farm that Venusaur with only fast attacks. We resist those frenzy plants all day, so we don't have to use any shield. And we finish that Venusaur with a bug bite. Now let's see what she sends. And she sends her Vigoroth, so I use my Heavy Slam that I had stored. She decides to shield, and now her Vigoroth is farming in us, but fortunately I get to another Heavy Slam before dying. 
And we take another shield. So she doesn't have any shields left. I sent out my Vigoroth. But I sent him to die. That was a mistake in my part because her Vigoroth has lots of energy stored. Now I only have my lantern left. I shield the first body slam. But here there they come. Lots of body slams. So I have to shield another one. Because I want to have lots of HP in that lantern because it's my only Pokemon left. And here we, we're gonna eat a body slam. Surprise, surprise, it was a bulldoze, so now I think we're gonna lose. She switches into her fortress. I used my Thunderbolt desperately in an attempt to I don't know what. We're about to die. She sends her Vigoroth and with barely any HP left, she wins that second round. So very close ma matches. For this final round, I lead with Vigoroth. She does too. So let's see who has the charge move priority. Let's see who gets first to the body slam. I do have the priority, so we, here we have the advantage. I land. She decides not to shield, which is an interesting choice. I decide to shield because I want to conserve my Vigoroth for later. And here we are. We have the advantage. In the switch, but she has the advantage in the shields. Let's see, she uses Wigglytuff, so I'm gonna land my body slam. Let's see if she shields, she does. And let's see if we can get another. Nope, that charm is very powerful. So now I send my lantern. And both Pokemon take lots of time to charge their charge attacks. I get first to my Thunderbolt. Let's see if she shields that Wigglytuff. She does. She doesn't have any shields left. She switches into Fortress. I switch into Noctal. Here we have the advantage because we can get the Sky Attack faster than her Heavy Slam. She uses Heavy Slam. I have one shield left. So now I use this Sky Attack and she doesn't have any shields left. We still need another one to kill it. And we do get first as I told you before. Noctul is faster than Fortress charging moves. But now she has her Wigglytuff. And that Wigglytuff has lots of energy charged. Ready to strike. I use my shield. Now, now it's a race to who gets to his charge move first. And she does it. She wins by using a Nice Beam and defeating our Lantern. Very close matches, GG's to Severum Heroes. So, round 2 against Luis Carrion Kai, first time playing against him. I decide to lead again with Vigoroth, he does too. So whoever has the charge move priority will win this matchup. Let's see who gets to the body slam first. I have the priority, so I have the advantage. I get the excellent, he shields, I get another counter. Before he retaliates with his own body slam. I shield. And then let's see. I get to the second body slam because I have the priority. Let's see if he decides to shield. He does. And now I decide to let my Vigoroth die because I want to conserve that shield. And because I have a Wigglytuff in the back. Which can deal lots of damage to Vigoroth with only fast attacks with charm. He switches into his Raichu. But I'm not gonna use my shield. He uses a brick break. And my Willy Top finishes that right you off with only charm attacks. And now I have a nice beam stored for that Taylo. Interesting choices of my opponent. Sending three normal types. He doesn't have any shields left. And my Willy Top finishes him off with only charms. As you can see, Willy Top is very powerful. So GG now into the rematch. I lead with Vigoroth, he does two again, now he has the charge move priority because it was his decision as he lost. You can see there, he reached the body slam first, I was tapping on it but he has a priority. I shield, I retaliate. He shields. My Vigoroth has better PvP IVs because look at the HP of both of us. I decide here not to shield 
because I have Wigglytuff of again in the back to finish that Vigoroth with charms, but he switches into his own Vigoroth, uh, sorry, into his own Wigglytuff. Good play on his part, countering my own Wigglytuff. I tried to go for the play rough, but I couldn't. Then my last Pokemon is Lantern, I shield expecting a play rough, but he baited me with a nice beam, so I don't have any shields left. This is looking bad for us. He goes for Raichu. Let's see if I can get to that Thunderbolt. Nope. I don't have any shields left. Uh, so I'm gonna eat that Wild Charge to the face. And I get to my Thunderbolt. But he's gonna use his last shield. And this is pretty much a lost match for us. He gets to his last charge attack. Which is Wild Charge and finish finishes uh, my lantern so gg in round two and we're going to round three last match i have the charge move priority so i decide to go with vigorad again he goes with wigglytuff so he has the switch advantage but i have the shield advantage i go for my first body slam he doesn't have to shield and he's not gonna oh, oh he shields the first one okay he switches into his vigorad good play on his part I use my second body slam, let's see if he shields, he does, and he's gonna farm some energy, I couldn't get to another charge attack, now I send my for my lantern, interesting choice by me, lantern takes a body slam very well, but he has some other body slams farmed, I decide not to shield, and let's see if I can finish it, finish him off with water guns nope so now i have to use a shield here because i have already a thunderbolt stored for his ne next pokemon i use my thunderbolt in his raichu he doesn't have shields left so that's my advantage now it's my last pokemon fortress against his raichu i use a shield here my last one and here I have to go for that Heavy Slam to finish that Raichu before that Raichu got another charge attack. I finish that Raichu with the Heavy Slam. Now he, he he sends his Wigglytuff. This is a very positive matchup for Fortress. This Heavy Slam should do lots of super effective damage. Let's see if it's enough. And it is. GG, we take round 3. Very close one. Now into round 3 against Caps. 1189 I start with Fortress, he starts with Vigoroth, he has the advantage, so I have to do something here, I have to, to switch, he gets to his first body slam, I don't have to shield because it's not very effective damage, I want to get to a heavy slam to see if he shields or not, then maybe I can swap, he shields, and I decide not to swap, interesting. Hey, he goes for his second body slam. Which almost knocks me out. And I couldn't get to another heavy slam. He has already some energy stored. I send now my lantern. He switches into his own lantern. I have the energy advantage. He has the HP and the Pokemon advantage. We also have the shield advantage. He doesn't shield that first Thunderbolt. I decide to, to shield here because I want to keep my Lantern alive. And here I have to get first to the Thunderbolt, which I do. Let's see if he shields. He should. Yeah, he does. He doesn't have any shields left. I have one shield. If I... Yeah, that was, I think, the correct call. I did good... Now let's see, I have to get this Thunderbolt and I farm a little bit more than I should have but still I risk getting hit by a Thunderbolt but I did my Thunderbolt first, I kill his Lantern, he retaliates switching into his Vigoroth and doing a Body Slam, my, now my Lantern is dead, I go for my Vigoroth, he gets a Body Slam before dying. And it's one against one, the last Pokemon. I have the advantage in this matchup and I have some energy farm. But if he gets to a charge attack, it's GG for me. 
I get the body slam. But it's not gonna be enough. He gets to his charge attack first, his sky attack, and finishes my Vigoroth off. So GG in round one. So now into round two. I decide to lead with Lantern. He leads with Vigoroth. I like this matchup. He immediately switches into his own Lantern, which is a good play by him. I switch into my Vigoroth. I do my first Body Slam. Let's see if he shields. He does. Interesting choice. Because I, that wasn't for sure a Bulldoze. Because I didn't have that time to charge a full Bulldoze. Now I go for a second Body Slam. Let's see if he shields. He does. So this Vigoroth is doing really great. Taking out the both of my enemy's shields. I decide to shield here to keep spamming that Body Slams. This Vigoroth is doing really well. Putting some good work. But before I manage to finish that Lantern, he gets to another Thunderbolt. I decide to keep my shield. Now I send my Fortress. To farm a little bit of energy for that Heavy Slam and that Earthquake. He sends uh, his own Vigoroth. I don't have to shield here because I resist very well the Body Slam. Now I'm gonna use my Heavy Slam. Which is, which is gonna do lots of damage. And here I should survive to get to another one if I shield this attack, which I do. Because I will beat that Vigoroth with only farming. And now I can launch that Heavy Slam into the Knock Towel. And I immediately switch because I didn't want him to farm any more energy on my on my fortress. Now I get to the Thunderbolt. This is a very good matchup for us and that Thunderbolt wins us match number two. Okay, so now into the last match of this round three. I lead with Lantern again. He does the same. So whoever has the charge move priority wins this Ditto. I get to the Thunderbolt first. Which may mean I have the charge move priority unless my opponent didn't want to use his own Thunderbolt. I have the priority because he retaliates immediately with his own attack. He didn't shield so he has the shield advantage. Here he uses a Thunderbolt. I decide to shield to keep that lantern alive in case he has a Noctul in the back. I use my Thunderbolt, he shields. Let's see if I can finish him off with only water guns. I didn't want to risk it, so I use my Thunderbolt. He's, he, he shields because he had another charge ready, but he died, so that was a misplay in his part. Now it's a vigorous Ditto. None of us have any shields left. He's do, he does a body slam, I retaliate with one of my own. Let's see if I can kill him with counters. Nope. He does get to another body slam, so he will have the, the, the switch advantage. I decided to send my lantern to finish his Vigoroth. He sends his fortress. Let's see if I can get to the Thunderbolt. I do. Great for us. This is gonna do lots of damage. Almost half. The HP of Fortress. Fortress has some energy stored. But I send the Fortress. If it's Earthquake, this is gonna hurt. He decides to go for Heavy Slam. Misplayed in his part. I go for my own Heavy Slam. Didn't want to risk getting hit by another charge attack. Especially by an Earthquake. I finish his Fortress. And it's a GG in round 3. Okay, so round 3 against Chos Jedi, a very good trainer, first time playing against him, both of us lead with Vigoroth, so let's see who has the charge move priority. I get first to the body slam, so I have the advantage and the priority. He decides to shield, he retaliates, but I, get, I got another um, counter before using my shield in this body slam, then I switch into fortress. Expecting to tank a body slam, but he does the same play. Interesting. 
And here I decided to go for the Heavy Slam. Didn't want to risk energy on going for Earthquake. Let's see if it's an Earthquake. I'm not gonna shield. I think it's a Heavy Slam. It is. Now I have the energy advantage. So this should land before he, him landing his attack. He shields. Ah, uh, here I, I don't, it doesn't have any case that I shield. I decide to let it die. Now I have my lantern. I can form some energy. He goes for his Vigoroth with a body slam immediately. I don't have to shield body slam. I shield. Uh, sorry, I switch into my my Vigoroth and do a body slam immediately. He didn't have any shields left, so I have the switch advantage and the shield advantage. He goes for Noctowl, and I get to a Body Slam just before dying. This is gonna do decent damage, but that Noctowl has some energy stored for my Lantern. It's a positive matchup for me. I decide to use my shield because I didn't have mo much choice. It's my last Pokemon. It's a Psychic. Now, he does here an excellent play, wasting my energy on his Fortress. And then it's all about who gets first to the charge attack. He gets it first, but to my surprise, it was a sky attack, thankfully, and not a psychic. Maybe the psychic could have won the match for him. Luckily, it was not. And I end the match with a thunderbolt of my own. So, very good play by him, and very close one, GG. Okay, so now round two. I lead with Lantern, he leads with Venomoth. Perhaps he has a uh, Legacy Venomoth, interesting matchup. I switch into Fortress to take his charge attack, which was an excellent play by me. He switches into his Noctowl. And he gets first to his charge attack. I'm not gonna shield. It doesn't have any case. Now I just have to, to launch this Heavy Slam and let my Fortress die. Let's see if I can get to another Heavy Slam before dying. And here I have to use a shield. Yes or yes. Because I already have a Heavy Slam ready. There to strike. I use it. I'm not expecting him to shield. He shields. He farms on my fortress before dying. But I sent my lantern. He switches into his Venom mod. I use my Thunderbolt. Here I should switch just after launching my attack, but I didn't. He shielded. I went for my Vigoroth. I use a shield. He uses his legacy Poison Fang. He doesn't have any shields left. Now I'm free for this Body Slam. It's a free attack. And I finish his Lantern, his Venomoth. And he sends his Noctowl with some energy farmed already. And he has one Pokemon left, it's his own Vigoroth. I use a Body Slam, will do lots of damage. He finishes with my Vigoroth with counters. And now it's a race to get to who gets first to the charge move. I'm gonna resist this Body Slam, but let's see if I can get to the Thunderbolt. Nope. He gets first to his charge attack, so that's... GG for round number two. Okay, so now for round number three, I lead with Vigoroth. He does two. Let's see who has the priority. He has the priority, so we're not in a good spot. I decide to shield. Let's see if he switches. I retaliate with my own body slam. He shields. I switch into my fortress to tank a body slam. He switches into his Noctowl, but I I'm, I'm gonna get to that heavy slam first. Let's see if he wants a shield. He doesn't, okay. Now he gets to his sky attack. I'm not gonna shield. There's no reason to do. 
And now he has his knocked owl farmed, ready to strike with another attack. I go with my lantern. He decides to waste his energy in a psychic. I don't shield. Now I want to farm his knocked owl. I do. I have a thunderbolt ready. And he sends his Venusaur. I sent my Vigoroth. I had to switch. Now I use my Body Slam. Deals a lot of damage. He retaliates with his own Vigoroth. Here he doesn't have any case to use my shield. Better to keep it for my Lantern. Here I have some energy farmed up. Both of us have one shield. I go for the Thunderbolt. He uses his last shield. He goes already for his um, Frenzy Plant. Obviously I have to, to burn my last shield. And let's see if I can get to that Thunderbolt first before him. Yes! I managed to do so. And let's see if, if that finishes his Venusaur. Yes! We take match number 3. Very close one. Now round 5 against Luis Pablo. I lead with Lantern. He leads with Bidril. I like this matchup. So let's see if he switches. I do switch to Fortress, expecting to tank an attack. He switches into his Noctowl. Maybe it was my mistake to switch uh, when I had maybe the advantage in the initial matchup. I go for my Heavy Slam. He farms lots of energy. He goes for his attack. I'm not gonna shield, no point. And let's see if I can get to another Heavy Slam. I do. So Fortress did his job. He decides to shield, and then it was his mistake in doing that attack. I go for my Lantern, which counters Noctowl. Let's see if I shield here. I don't shield because I tank very well Sky attacks. I finish his Lantern, I have lots of energy stored, and I go for a Thunderbolt. He goes for an Excisor, we both shield. This was the initial matchup of the two leads. He gets to another attack first, I have to burn a shield because I have already my Thunderbolt ready. I use the Thunderbolt and he doesn't have any shields left, me neither. So it's a 2-2 on Pokémon and both non-shields. He goes for his Lantern, I switch into my Vigoroth. I'm gonna eat this Thunderbolt to the face. I re um, he switches into his Noctowl to die. He tried to call my Body Slam, but I, I farmed a little longer. I use another Body Slam here. Let's see if it's, if it's enough to finish that Lantern. And it is barely, barely we take round number one. Okay, so now round number two. I lead with Lantern, he leads with Vigoroth. I like this, uh, this matchup. We actually lose this matchup, but we gain the shield. Uh, we have the shield advantage in this matchup. I don't have to shield Vigoroth's attacks. Unless it's a Bulldoze, but he goes for Body Slam. Now I go for Thunderbolt. Let's see if he shields. He does, as expected. I switch into Fortress. He switches into Noctowl. I go for my first Heavy Slam. He doesn't shield. Now here, I decide to shield. Interesting. Let's see if I can get another Heavy Slam. Nope. He gets first. I decide to burn another shield on my fortress because we didn't, we didn't want to risk it um, to die before launching my heavy slam. I do my heavy slam. He decides to farm some energy to shield, and here he launches a sky attack before I can get to another heavy slam. Now I send my lantern. He sends his own lantern. I have the energy advantage. None of us have any shields left. I go for my Thunderbolt, it's gonna do almost half the HP bar to that Lantern. 
That Lantern has lots of energy charged. I'm in a very bad position here. And it's a Hydro Pump, actually. So that's even worse for me. This is a lost match at this point. I just go for a Body Slam to lose with a little bit of dignity. And he goes for his Knock Towel and finishes my Vigoroth with a Fast Attack. So round three, I lead with Vigoroth. He leads with Knock Towel. I have the complete advantage. I go for my first body slam, he doesn't have to shield because Noctowl we know tanks very well my attacks. And here perhaps I could shield, perhaps not. I decide not to. He, he switches immediately. I go for my body slam. Let's see, deals lots of damage to that Bidril, almost half HP. I couldn't get to another body slam before dying. That Beedrill has some energy stored, I send my Lantern and he's gonna use Excisor, which Lantern can tank very well. He goes for another Excisor before dying. I'm gonna uh, use my shield and farm energy by killing that uh, bee with only my water guns. So here I'm expecting to see what my opponent sends into battle, he sends his own Lantern. So here I use my Thunderbolt, expecting him to use his last shield. He does, and then I there there I had to switch into my Venusaur. It was a misplay in my part. Here I decide to let it die and keep my shield for that Noctowl. He sends Noctowl. I use Frenzy Plant. He has one shield left still. He uses his shield, now I have obviously to use my shield, if, if not otherwise I would die. To die a sky attack, which deals lots of damage. This, this is a negative matchup, but I have the energy advantage, so I could use here my attack before him. And here, let's see if I can get to that frenzy plant, yes! This is gonna do lots of super effective damage on that lantern, because water beats Sorry, Grass beats Water, so it's GG, we take round 5. Okay, so now round 6, the last one against Victor, a very good trainer who defeated me last month. Now it's Lantern against Bidril. I like this matchup. I decided to, to switch into Vigoroth. Well, actually it was a mistake, I want to switch into Fortress, but I missed up. So, I'm in a very bad position here. He goes for his Excisor, then he goes for another Excisor, I don't shield, then he, sh he switches into his Vigoroth. So, he's in total control of the situation here. He manages to finish my Vigoroth with his own Vigoroth. He has some energy already farmed. Now I take him out my Fortress. His Vigoroth is about to die, but just before dying, he launches two Body Slams. I don't have to shield any of them. I managed to finish that Vigoroth with only fast attacks, so now I can use my Earthquake in that Lantern. But he's gonna shield. And now I switch into my Lantern, it's looking very bad for us. I'm going for a Thunderbolt. He doesn't shield, okay, he switches into his Beedrill. Let's see if I can farm him with only water guns. But he decides to use an Excisor, I shield. And just before dying, he manages to get to another charge attack. I burn my last shield. I finish his Beedrill. He sends his last Pokemon Lantern. And... He got me first with his charge attack. So my only Pokemon left is Fortress, he defeats me with only water guns, I play very bad, so GG. So now into round 2, the rematch of the last round of the tournament. I lead with um, Lantern, he leads with Noctowl, this is in total control for us. Very positive matchup, he switches into his own Lantern. I switch into my Fortress. 
which was maybe not the best decision from my part. He gets first to his Thunderbolt. Uh, I'm not gonna shield. I farm a little bit more, more of energy. And here maybe I maybe here I should have gone for the heavy slam and baited him. And then maybe I could have got the, the earthquake. But okay, my fortress died. Now I send my Vigoroth, I shield the Thunderbolt. And I hope to finish that lantern with only counters, but I couldn't, so I have to burn my second shield. And now finally I beat it, that um, lantern. I have lots of energy stored. I use my first body slam. I'm not expecting him to shield. Nope, he doesn't. But now he got me. I was too slow using my moves and he got me with a sky attack. But luckily I survived with one HP so I could get another body slam. But that wasn't enough. Now I sent my lantern. And I defeat his Pokemon, but it's the last Pokemon against the last Pokemon, but he has the shield advantage, so it's practically GG for us. He doesn't shield, he didn't need to. I go for my uh, for another Thunderbolt, but he's gonna use obviously his last shield. And here, here they come, the charge attacks, he farmed with his Vigoroth. He got to another one before I could finish him off with water guns. So I didn't play well at all this round and GG to Victor. So that was my weighted Jungle Cup trainers. I want to say congrats to the five winners, Kim Ibarra, Oso Alan, Sonoroman, Hokum and Victor2605. Personally, for me, it was a good tournament overall. I finished with four wins out of six and finished in 10th place. I managed to win many close battles against strong trainers and I hope you find my video useful for improving your game. That's all for today's video trainers, hope you enjoy it. If you liked my video please smash the like button, don't forget to subscribe for more PvP and Pokemon Go news, follow me on Twitter and remember hype gaming to everyone. Catch you on the next one, bye!